the problem in epilepsy is increased excitation now this has to be controlled how it can be controlled and what causes the excitation one either because of sodium channels when sodium channels will continue to release that sodium sodium gets into the neuron and that is what causes action potential that results in excitement first one is about sodium channel the other one there are certain excitatory neurotransmitters are there and then inhibitory neurotransmitters are there if you reduce the effect of excitatory neurotransmitter you can treat epilepsy or you can enhance inhibitory neurotransmission you can treat epilepsy now the next next goal is to reduce excitatory neurotransmission excitatory sorry neurotransmission or to enhance inhibitory neurotransmission now the last one is as i told you this petit mal is because of calcium channels so you need to reduce or block this calcium channels so this one is also this so there are four major strategies to treat epilepsy you need to understand the pathophysiology what goes wrong in that particular disease it is because of continuous neuronal firing continuous neuronal activation and what is causing it continuous neural action either because of opening of sodium channel or calcium channel or excessive activation of excitatory neurotransmitter or reduction in inhibitory neurotransmission so your job is you need to block either sodium or calcium channel in the brain or decrease the excitatory neurotransmitter or increase inhibitory neurotransmission for all of them we have different class of drugs are there see sodium channels in the brain can be blocked by phenytoin and carbamazepine now understand this thing see sodium channel blockers you will see them in entire pharmaca when neuronal sodium channels are blocked it may bring about anesthetic effect but in certain brain reason if you block sodium channels they act as anti epileptic agent on heart when you block sodium channels they will be acting as class 1 anti arrhythmic agent in nephron also you have sodium channels are there which will be acting as diuretic agents all of them are sodium channels depending upon the location you will have a particular pharmacological action so these phenytoin carbamazepine their job is they will block sodium channels if sodium channels are blocked sodium entry is inhibited if sodium entry is inhibited depolarization is not there action potential is not there neuronal firing will be blocked now after that like you need to reduce excitatory neurotransmission in the brain the excitatory the major excitatory neurotransmitter is glutamate now glutamate will be acting on nmda receptors and kinase receptors there are specific blockers are there like felbamate felbamate will be blocking nmd nmd receptors whereas topiramate will be blocking kinase receptor now see glutamate again when glutamate neurotransmitter is released it opens sodium channel so sodium channel opening either because of voltage change or because of neurotransmitter and that voltage gated sodium channels can be blocked by phenytoin and carbamazepine whereas neurotransmitter activated sodium channel can be blocked by felbamate topiramate now the next one is enhancing inhibitory neurotransmission see in the brain the inhibit major inhibitory neurotransmitter is gaba gamma amino butyric acid so the gaba neurotransmission can be enhanced by using benzodiazepines barbiturates and then certain other classes of drugs are there see gaba is again synthesized inside the neuron and once it is released it is metabolized by gaba transaminase enzyme and that particular gaba transaminase enzyme is inhibited by a specific drug called as vigabactin so what is the job of this drug this one will inhibit gaba metabolism so gaba is not metabolized gaba levels are increased gaba is an inhibitory neurotransmitter and this excitation will get reduced now another one there is another drug called as tiagabine now tiagabine 
once this GABA is released, either it can be metabolized by GABA transaminase or it is reuptaken into the neurotransmitter by GABA reuptake transporter. Tiagaben will inhibit that reuptake transporter so that at the end, outside, uh, at the synaptic junction, the GABA levels will get increased. And GABA levels are increased, it will be reducing excitation and it causes, it, it will be used as, it, it will be used to treat epilepsy. The next one, GABA pentane. See, GABA pentane is again a kind of GABA facilitator. When GABA pentane is given from the neuron, GABA release will get increased. So all these drugs will be acting to increase inhibitory neurotransmission. In the CNS, the major inhibitory neurotransmitter is GABA, gamma amino butyric acid. And this GABA activity, the GABA neurotransmission enhances with benzodiazepines and barbiturates or by using drugs like Vigabantin, Thiagabain, GABA. See, we'll see in detail about these drugs in a while, but understand about this one. Vigabantin is GABA metabolizing enzyme inhibitor and GABA levels are increased. Thiagabain, GABA reuptake inhibitor. GABA pentin, GABA facilitator. Now, these two classes, benzodiazepine and barbiturates, they are allosteric modulators of GABA receptor. Allosteric modulator means they will not bind with the GABA binding site, they will bind with another site. Once they bind it, they will in increase GABA binding ability and hence GABA neurotransmission is increased. GABA neurotransmission is, it is a chloride channel. When GABA binds with the receptor, it is a chloride channel. The channel opens, chloride gets inside the cell. Chloride has got a negative charge. Once it gets inside the cell, it causes hyperpolarization. That is what is inhibitory neurotransmission. So what is the problem in epilepsy? Hyperexcitation. So what happens with this inhibitory neurotransmission? Hyperpolarization or inhibition of this. And that is what rates epilepsy. Finally, the specific calcium channel blockers are there. These are ethosuximide and then valproate. So ethosuximide, valproate specifically inhibits the calcium channel presence in the brain. When calcium channels are blocked, calcium entry is inhibited, further depolarization excitement is inhibited. You need to understand certain things. Some of the drugs has got multiple actions out there. But this is the most widely used clinically classification. So remember these things. Let me repeat it again. See, epilepsy is because of increased excitation or continuous neuronal firing in the brain. The continuous neuronal firing, what happens is when one neurotransmitter releases, our contractions will be in a coordinated fashion. If continuously neurons are firing, the contractions will be like this. And this is what happens in epilepsy. The major types are grand mal and petit mal. Grand mal is known as tonic-clonic, whereas petit mal is known as absent shields. The classes used are sodium channel blockers in the brain, phenytoin, carbamazine. Excite, reducing excitatory neurotransmission caused by glutamate, felbamate, and propramate. Inhibit, enhancing inhibitory neurotransmission by using benzodiazepines, barbiturates, vigabatrin, thiagabin, and gabapentin. Finally, reducing or blocking calcium channels, ethosuximate, valproate. Now look at the treatment. This petit mal epilepsy is because of calcium channel opening. So calcium channel problem is there. So this petit mal epilepsy can be treated by ethosuximide and valproate. See, these two drugs are specifically blocking calcium channels. So that particular channelopathy is there in this petit mal epilepsy. So the choice of drug to treat petit mal epilepsy is only these two drugs. You use any other drug that worsens the condition. Similarly, uh, we have seen about partial seizures and generalized seizures. Partial seizures can be treated by using phenytoin and carbamazine. So if any particular focus neuronal injury is there, that may cause sodium channelopathy. To treat that, that particular sodium channel blockers, phenytoin and carbamazine should be used. So only for partial seizures. You cannot use these drugs to treat generalized seizures like grand mal, petit mal, tonic clinic. No, that will worsen the condition. So this things needs to be taken care of. So this is about epilepsy. When you understand pathophysiology, you will know the different classes of drugs and how to treat them. The other thing, there is a condition called as status epilepticus. Usually the epileptic attack occurs for, for very fewer time. 
If it is more than five minutes, that is called as status epilepticus. Choice of drug is magnesium sulfate. The exact mechanism of action is not known. The choice is magnesium sulfate. Now the other things, the common things with all these drugs are what all these drugs are doing. Blocking sodium channel, blocking calcium channel, or in, increasing inhibitory neurotransmission, reducing excitatory neurotransmission. All of them will be causing CNS depression because you are increasing inhibitory neurotransmission. Why? The condition in which you have hyperexcitation is there. So purposely you are causing CNS depression. So all the drugs, the the very common thing is all of them will cause CNS depression. Second thing, when any other CNS depressant drug is given along with this drug, synergistic activity will be there. So hyper CNS depression will occur. Next one, see epilepsy is a long term chronic condition, and long term people need to take the drugs. Now abruptly they cannot stop taking the drugs. The reason is when they abruptly stop taking the drugs, it may result in again in a kind of epileptic attack. It is dangerous. Capping of the dose should be there. So these things need to be taken care of. If all anti-epileptic drugs will cause general CNS depression. Any other depressant is combined with this one, it causes severe depression. Drugs cannot be stopped abruptly because it may precipitate another epileptic attack. So this is about epilepsy. Now the next topic, let us see about sedative and hypnotics because you'll be dealing more and more with this benzodiazepines and barbiturates. <laughs>